This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 46 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. We were working on this little leg thing, and I was looking through my reference images, and I found this one. And they actually cheated too, because there's no way this thing could rotate and then have this thing rotate too. It just doesn't make sense. And then they also have this piston thing. But um, we'll make it the same as theirs, even though it doesn't work. So, uh, left hand viewport. Just a quick rotate. Put it right back in there. And um, the verts here and the local. Just okay, never mind, don't do that. We'll just kind of move them by hand. So just move these slightly down and these slightly up. Just so it kind of gives it a taper effect. Um, next, on perspective, select the top and the bottom, inset. Okay. Scale it inward here so it's even. And just extrude um, in a bit. Make sure it doesn't pop out anywhere though. It's a bit much. Okay. Um, next, let's move it over here. Just center it up. Okay. And I want to break this up a bit. So select this ring, polygon, inset, okay, extrude, local normal, just extrude it out a bit, and do the same for the edges of this one. Next, um, let's uh, build the piston, I guess. So cylinder, create a cylinder, auto grid, just make it right here for now. Um, a little bigger than that. Okay, bring it back over, yeah, pretty much right there. Uh, don't know what Games Workshop was thinking when they um, built this little sucker, but yeah, my thoughts of breaking it up were kind of destroyed when I saw this, because there's no way, as it doesn't, it wouldn't look right, but, you know, just link everything and you can do it. Okay, so rotate this about right there. Decrease the height a bit. Convert to editable poly. Let's do some beveling. Can't wait to get a new mouse because my mouse double clicks and it's the most annoying thing in the world. Um, bring it out a bit. Zero. Um, inset it. Tad. Extrude. All right. Next. Build a cylinder a little bit wider than that. Rotate on the local. Uh, make sure angle snap is on. Ninety degrees. Alright, um, center it up, and decrease the height a bit. Okay, that looks pretty cool, but not 
not nearly long enough. That's a problem. I'm just going to link uh, that for a second. Okay, just move it more. Select the top polygon there. Local, and just bring it out a bit. Okay, bring this out as well. Good. Convert it to an editable poly. Select both the edges here. Just do whatever looks cool. edges and chamfer. Alright, next we're going to um, copy this, preferably. View, shift and drag, mirror it on the Y, and Z actually. It's going to be the thick part up here. And scale it down. Okay. And a little. That's not good. Make it cylindrical again. this polygon and just move it down. Um, you can use the grow function to select any others you need like those. Just bring them up. Um, bring those up. And then just sync this one pretty close to the end here. Alright. Um, select this. One of the key things in modeling is just reuse things you've already built. It's helped me quite a bit. And just top viewport, center it up, and maybe scale it down a bit. Okay. Not quite centered, but it's pretty good. All right. Um, select this. Um, select these here. Ring. Inset. Okay. Extrude. Local normal. And give it a outward extrusion of about 0.18 and you're going to want to do the same with this one again just to um, just break it up a bit you never want to have too much of the same thing no matter how cool it looks alright Next, what I want to do is select both these polygons here, grow them twice, select that end piece, and that one, and that one, select the edges, and I'm just going to give them a quick chamfer. Alright. Um, let's see here. Oh. Not see that. Just bring that up a bit. Left hand viewport. We'll just rotate this a tad, turn angle snap off. There, good as new. Uh, that'll be it for part 46. And part 47, we'll continue with the foot. And there shouldn't be too many parts after that.